Welcome, friends, families, and potential fans. I am Saber Mage, and I am extremely proud to present a 100% efficient item elevator that works in 1.5.1. and which is extremely light on resources. If you didn't catch it there, I just threw in exactly eight roses, eight pots, eight signs, eight sponges, and I just got them back from 20 blocks up, as you can see. This design is, I have seen, um, at least one for sure. Generic B has a working 100% efficient design for an item elevator. And the problem I see with it though is that it is extremely heavy on resources. You need, in his design, you need one comparator for every single um, block of height that you want to transfer items, which is three torches and one redstone per block of height plus extra wiring <laughs> so it's not exactly very um, light on resources and but this design that I've come up with is and it's completely 100% efficient I've tested it in multitudes of ways you can put a chest on top of here and throw your items in there you can just throw all your items right onto there onto the hoppers there um, no matter what you do all items always make it to the top you don't have any extra clicking noises um, that some item elevators have the issue of um, making because it's triggering dispensers that don't have anything in them not the case with this design it only dis triggers the dispensers it needs to. This design takes advantage of the fact that um, dispensers powered on the side by a torch will actually, like say an item is right here, if you power this dropper, sorry I've been saying dispensers, if you power this dropper with a torch then it moves the item from here all the way up to here in one tick which is the main reason this is able to be so light on resources. Now, what this is not is, is not exactly compact. It's 3x3. Three three. Um, I think Generic B's design is technically a little smaller. But it is 100% efficient. It is extremely light on resources. And it's very easy to build, too. Um, going to show you how to build it here, but I just want to make one more analysis. I uh, just want to point out one more thing about this. Let's see, it only uses one... Once you get into the pattern, like there's a base you need to build, but after that you have this pattern which uses exactly three blocks and one slab or glowstone um, per two levels of item transfer. And you only need, so three redstone dust, one repeater, and one torch per every two levels. That is pretty efficient. I haven't, I have yet to see a design like this on YouTube that is this resource efficient, this easy to build. Um, so let's get into it, shall we? Let me grab some of the other things I'm going to need here. Ah just to show off that my last transfer did in fact work. You got all eight in here. All eight items. There we go. Mm -hmm. That, and then I need my glowstone. All right. So...
Start off with some droppers here. As high as you want to build it. Let's just stick with that height for now. Make it a little simple. Um, you want to stick down your comparator there. You want it in the negative mode, or at least that's what I call it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go with negative mode. And you want to place a block there, torch there, one redstone repeater here. It can stay at that delay. You want a block there, but you also want actually two redstone underneath there first. And then you want a block there, torch here, and that redstone we just set underneath here um, sends over to here, powering that torch. And then you place one redstone there. This causes, this ensures that the whole thing loops um, for every item it needs to send up. And from here, you want one dust, you want another repeater. This repeater needs to be on a two tick delay, um, because if it weren't, it would essentially fire this next level at the exact same time as this, which would cause it not to work. Um, you want to place a block there, one block there, and a torch here. And all of this dust in this repeater. And that is the base of it. Um, let's see. When we send an item up this, which is what I'm going to do here in a moment, the item should end up right here in this dropper, right above the torch. So let's send up maybe three items. And there they are, all three of them. So this is the base design, pretty easy to build, not tough at all. So now I will show you the pattern that you can just pull up um, the entire build. nice and easy to extend it infinitely vertically virtually of course there's a world limit but you know um, so you have a glowstone block here you can also make that a half slab which is um, a little more feasible in a survival world especially but glowstone is more convenient to use since you don't have to place it against another block to get it. Um, you know, like with a half slab, you have to place it at the top so that you could place redstone on top of it. Um, don't have to do that with glowstone. So that's why I'm using glowstone in this example. But half slabs are definitely more feasible in a survival world, more practical. Um, so you use that, and you want to make sure, sorry, just keep it like that. Each next torch will be two blocks up from the last. And that is the design. You mirror it up as you go up. So now if we send an item up, it'll end up here, in the last second from the top. There we are. We've got that. And just to reiterate, you have your half slab or glowstone, place redstone, one repeater, one tick delay on it. You have the redstone there. Redstone there on top of that block. 
and a torch. And you just keep um, flipping that, that same pattern all the way up. You mirror it for as high as you need to go. And that is it. Really simple, really easy to use. Um, another thing this design is not, is it's not particularly fast, I wouldn't say. But it's also not terribly slow. Um, I do think, I haven't watched it for a little while, I haven't seen it today, but I do think Generic B's design is a little faster. Huh, that's interesting to note. If you have an item stack sitting on top of here, then everything it dispenses just joins that item stack. It's of the same type. Anyway. Um, but yes, I do think Generic B's design is... It's slightly smaller. Kind of. And it is also faster. But it's much, much more resource intensive. Again, you need a comparator for every dropper that you place. And you also need, I believe, one or two repeaters for every dropper in that design. Another thing his design requires is if you have if you're using a hopper to input to the item elevator, it requires that you have like a redstone dust here to control the hopper. It wouldn't be exactly like that, but um, to control the hopper to make sure that it doesn't output items when the um, elevator is not ready for the items. But with my design, you don't need that. Um, hoppers can be freestanding. They don't have to be modified or controlled by redstone. They can just output at their own happy rate. And everything will, in fact, be dispensed. We'll make it to the very top of the dropper tower. That's it, guys. That is all I have to show. I hope you all find this useful. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please like. I uh, don't have to subscri subscribe. Um, as it stands, I'm not posting too terribly many videos very often, but I do like to share little bits of wisdom here and there. And I'll see you later on.